Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. <laughs> yes, Donkey of the Day for Monday, December 7th goes to Georgia Senator David Perdue. Very fitting because today, December 7th, is the last day to register to vote in Georgia. Okay, early voting um, begins next week on the 14th, but today is the last day to register to vote in the upcoming Senate runoff. Now, David Perdue is a Georgia senator who was supposed to be debating his opponent, John Ossoff, on Sunday night. But instead, he declined to show up. Yes, John Ossoff on Sunday night debated an empty podium. Now, I don't understand the point of campaigning, having people endorse you, asking people to come out and vote for you, but you don't respect the people you want to you want to vote for you enough to even come out and debate what you claim to believe in. Okay, Ossoff and Purdue are... Facing off in one of the two January 5th Senate runoffs in the Peach State. Um, I can't tell this one means much to David Perdue. Okay, either he doesn't respect his opponent or he doesn't respect the voters. I would say it's both. If I was a conservative in GA, I would feel so disrespected by David Perdue. Just assuming y'all are going to vote for him just because without him showing up to debate and defend his position on anything. Do you really want to vote for someone with that sense of entitlement? Maybe you do. But if you were dating a person who felt that entitled. If you were dating a person who felt like they didn't have to court you anymore, who felt like they didn't have to take you out, who didn't tell you that you were pretty, who didn't tell you that they appreciate you, they value you, you would, would you, would you still want to be in a relationship with that person? Would you envy? Nope. Only reason I'm still here, yet still to be determined though, is because envy tells me how much he loves me. You know what I mean? Because he tells me I'm pretty. That's a damn and lie. And shows me and tells me how That's much he values damn and appreciates me. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so Georgia voters, you have to ask yourself these questions. Now, John Ossoff, of course, had some things to say about David Perdue's absence. Can we listen to what John had to say? The reason that our country has lagged the entire world at the efficacy of our response to this virus, the reason that we are losing thousands of people per day to this virus is because of the arrogance of politicians like David Perdue, so arrogant that he disregarded public health expertise and so arrogant that he's not with us here today to answer questions. Mm. And so if I might, my message for the people of our state at this moment of crisis is your senator feels entitled to your vote. Your senator is refusing to answer questions and debate his opponent because he believes he shouldn't have to. He believes this Senate seat belongs to him. This Senate seat belongs to the people. With early voting beginning on December 14th, I want to urge everybody to make a plan to vote. David Perdue has been getting rich in office. And instead of taking public health expertise and guidance from the CDC and getting that to the people and implementing in policy, he was buying up shares and manufacturers of vaccines and medical equipment. And he's not here because he's afraid he may incriminate himself in this debate. I don't think there is anything I could say that's better than that. Arrogance is the key word of the day. OK, hashtag arrogance. That's exactly what it is. How dare you just give me your ass to kiss? Who do you think you are that you don't have to continue to sell yourself to me, but you want my vote? See, I'm interested in these Senate races because I don't want the Biden administration to have any excuses as to why they can't do things for our community. See, when you don't have the Senate, you can't get anything done. For example, on Friday, the House, OK, Democratic led House passed legislation that would decriminalize weed and expunge nonviolent weed related convictions. Democrats are doing that to roll back and compensate for the war on drugs, which essentially was just the war on black people. But here's the thing. I saw everybody reporting that. I saw folks celebrating it. But that legislation, at least for now, is going to die in the Republican led Senate. But guess what? If the Dems had control of the House and Senate, then the federal decriminalization of weed would happen. So, yes, I want Georgia to show up and vote for John Ossoff as well as Ralph Warnock, because I don't want this administration to have any excuses in regards to getting things done that impact us. Now, once again, Georgia, it's simple. If you was dating someone and y'all were supposed to get up with each other to have a conversation to get to know each other better, and this person didn't show up, would you continue to pursue the relationship? Would you continue to pursue Purdue? If the answer is no, then you know who to vote for in the Georgia Senate runoff. Please give David Purdue the biggest he haw. <laughs> I'm saying this should be simple. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.